Absolutely. Slow down, Bunny. Why are you running? I say has the ha, have the ferry coming in. Let's look at one of the most laid back neighborhoods in all of Seattle, Magnolia. Now there's a reason why it's laid back. Well, one, you have this phenomenal view here. These views are just immaculate. I mean, living here, yes, it's a pretty penny. Every single property here is a million plus. Starter homes are about a million and a half. You want something more luxurious, you're in the three to $5 million range. But what is the benefit of living in Magnolia? Well, it's a lifestyle. It's very laid back, very peaceful. We have Discovery Park. We have Lighthouse Point. This view here alone, as you can see in this, uh, in this little panoramic view for yourself, you have Mount Rainier in the background, just looking beautiful. You have Port of Seattle over there as well. You have boats, you have planes, seaplanes sitting down right on top of the water. Just full on luxury, just for you to indulge in. Now, we're going to show you three properties today and three amazing locations that you have to stop by and try. The last one, Serendipity Cafe, is my favorite place every time I'm in Magnolia. But for now, enjoy this beautiful. So, talk about affordability in Magnolia, house number one. 1.65 million, four bedrooms, three bathrooms, just shy of 2,600 square feet. New construction townhouse. I mean, you have terrace number one, terrace number two, open floor plan, outstanding kitchen. I mean, the kitchen is luxurious, gorgeous, beautiful, tall ceilings, and there's just everything you would ever want in a Magnolia home. Conveniently placed just minutes away from the downtown city center, where we're gonna show you three phenomenal places you have to try for food, and if location, price, and the new construction facade of it doesn't sell you on it, maybe the floors will. <laughs> I'm kidding, the floors have nothing to do with this. Let's go check out house number two, where it's gonna be a historic home, a beautiful home. You're going to want to see this, and afterwards, we're gonna show you the third home, no price, and you'll have to guess in the comment section down below. Now, if you're into a little bit that's more kind of like historic homes, look no further. I mean, this community right here of three homes, this whole area here is kind of like a private community, undisturbed with just mind boggling views of the back of mountain range, the water, the scenery we have here is just beautiful what God has created for us. But this home right here, it's 2.175 million on the market. It is four bedrooms, three and a quarter bathrooms, just shy of 4,000 square feet. This home is just phenomenal. I mean, you want history, you want the aesthetic of the early 1900s. Built in 1900, remodeled and restored in 2016. This home is unlike any other. You have an incredible top floor, as you can see right behind me, that has a phenomenal bonus playroom, a spacious kitchen, a beautiful private suite, and your own kind of luxury oasis in the back. So look no further. If you want something that has history to it, that has been modernized with just mind boggling views, conveniently placed just 30 minutes to downtown because of the windy roads, walkable trails. We see a lot of bikers, a lot of people walking their dogs. This is the number one spot in, Mag in Seattle, Magnolia has a lot, a lot of trails to walk. It is the largest green area Magnolia, matter of fact, is built up out of two hills. One hill was fully redone to have developments. The other hill, as you can see, it's left here. And the rest is just a flat plateau where they have their little industrial zone. Beautiful location, phenomenal views, beautiful pricing. On to home number three, which we're going to show you is just a behemoth of a house. So I'm very excited to show you price point. I'm not gonna tell you. You guys can guess in the comments what this house is going for. House number three. As I said, we're now going to be sharing with you the price. I want you guys to guess what this home is going for. As you can see the photos here, this home is four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, 6,100 square feet in the beautiful prime location of Magnolia. Incredible views of the water, absolutely phenomenal views of the water. You can, you can see the amazing ferry coming in. You have you're on the, t the, the top of a hillside here. And this home actually, they've had a lot of work done to it. It was built in 1927. It was then remodeled and brought to its now known glory in 2002, full gut, fully redone. The front lawn had been fully done with a amazing, amazing retaining wall leveled out. So you have a yard space, you are a corner lot here. Pretty interesting, you have magnolias growing in magnolia. I actually have one at home. I was going to cut it down before my wife told me how much they cost and I said, screw that, well, I'll, I'll deal with trimming it. But this is what Magnolia is about. It's very peaceful, very quiet, other than that pressure washer working in the background, working on some millionaire's house. 
If you are looking for a style of living like this, this is what you're gonna find. You're going to find more of a chill scenery, beautiful houses, amazing architecture, kind of similar to when we showed you what South Lake Union was. I do want to show you guys Millionaire's Row, 14th Avenue East in Seattle, as well as Broadmoor. That is some phenomenal houses over there, 5,012 residents with the average median income of over 175,000. Those houses are pretty, pretty beautiful. But there is kind of, as you would say, um, this is the beautiful side of Seattle. You know, you, you have amazing architecture, amazing style homes, even the neighbors here. I mean, that is a phenomenal Wizard of Oz looking house right there. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. Houses up and down the street, private alleys, amazing entryway to the houses, brick facade. I love a brick exterior. You have tile or slate shingles on this roof here. A lot of immense natural light, but also you are surrounded and kind of in cove in this phenomenal privacy from the magnolias, from the brush, from the trees, from these beautiful, uh, what does my wife call them, hydrangeas, 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 I don't know, they're over there. But you can see it, beautifully manicured bushes, even the frickin' sidewalk grass looks better than my backyard grass. You know, if some, you even got stone right there, look at that. With beautiful grass growing up, obviously someone's taking care of that. You have amazing steps coming up, slate tile, gated off, and then you are walking into a grand entrance. So what does this home offer for you? Amazing, amazing primary suite on the top floor. The view of the water is breathtaking. So if you are interested in this house, I would love for you guys all to guess what this house is priced at right now on the market. Put in the comments, it's the third time I'm saying, or fourth time I'm saying that. But if you're a buyer that is actually looking for something like this, something this style, maybe this price point, maybe lower price point, but along these lines, we offer that here in Seattle. That is the great news about Seattle. Very versatile, very different price points all over Seattle, amazing neighborhoods. Guess the price. Um, for, first person who actually gets to this gets a $100 gift card from us. It's going directly from Andre's bank account. Thank you very much. Now let's go check out the food places. So food places, I mean, we're in the city center. Right behind us on this street right here on the Gras is the main little hub city center of Magnolia. Then what food place should you try? You have to stop by Manello Italian Restaurant. And here's what you need to get when you go there. You have to get the ravioli and mushroom cream sauce as well as their cheese plate with their wine. It is to die for. As well as a cannoli to top off the evening. And that you will thank me for. I 100% guarantee you. Now coming up on the left hand side right here, is not just the barbershop, but right next to the barbershop is Nico's Gyro Shop, which for those of you that know me, I love my gyros, even though Andre calls them Giros. I don't know why would you call them Giros? Gyros, Giros. But right here, Nico's Gyro Shop. If you ever want a quick lunch, easy food, stop by, grab a bite, swing by, take a look at it, try it, eat it. Whenever you're in Seattle, swing by Magnolia to get some for yourself. What other notes are there for Nikos? According to Google reviews, this is the best place in Seattle for Greek food. Every single dish comes with a salad that everyone at the table will enjoy. And now, let's go check out Serendipity Cafe. When I was a general contractor and I did a lot of work in Magnolia, I loved swinging by Serendipity Cafe. Perfect breakfast space, perfect little easy on the go food. Very quick and easy. I like my dopios. So it's really nice and simple. Come in, grab a little snack, walk out, head to the job site. If you're in the area, swing by. Now we're gonna show you a little bit of the surrounding areas here so you can see what really is in the downtown center of Magnolia, called the Magnolia Village. Of course, of course, granted with Seattle, you can never miss out on a Starbucks, I guarantee you. You can throw a dart on a map of Seattle, throw five, and every single dart's gonna hit a Starbucks location. <laughs> Uptown Espresso, Starbucks, and Serendipity Cafe on a corner, which is just, what? how much closer can you get to a full-on coffee lover's haven?
Just hold it. Got it. We need Thank the you. honest review. What yes. What is your personal opinion? You think it worked out? Huh? What do you think? Do you think it worked out? I thought she was good. Okay. Definitely. We're going to try it. Open it, open oh, it. Oh, it's fine, it doesn't matter which okay. one we got. Yeah. Thank you so much, appreciate that. So, Andre's high maintenance, very luxury coffee that Beverly Hill moms drink. I can taste some more. It, it's really hot, so. Oh, I can taste some more. That's not, that's really good. I'll give that like a eight and a half out of 10. She nailed it. That's very freaking good. Wow. Well, let's go look at some pizza, but that that's fine. I don't know what he ordered. It's just mocha with orange in it, but that is really, really good. I'm gonna go get a whole, at the, a sleeve. That is phenomenal. You killed it. I'm very surprised. You killed it. I don't know. What I made, it had just a little bit of chocolate, like dark chocolate, and a little bit of orange, orange like the and orange syrup. Yeah. And then I did do a zest of orange peel. And then the milk. Wow. So she put dark cho dark chocolate, orange pumps of just, syrup. I just did like one pump of chocolate, one pump of One pump of chocolate, yeah. one pump of orange, orange peel, orange. Yeah, that's it's actually really I didn't good. Do any orange zest. I don't have a zest. Syrup. No worries. No, it tastes good. It's like it's very subtle, but it, you can also taste it. So yeah, it's, you don't want to over. Yeah, you don't want to be eating an orange as you're drinking yeah. the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Thank well, you. Thank you for letting me. Thank you so much. You guys have to check out. Serendipity Cafe, it is phenomenal. They'll tailor all your needs. Now we're gonna try Slicebox. What a dope name for a pizza place, Slicebox. Let's go see. We showed you guys University District or University Place. Now we're gonna show you this place. I mean, Pac-Man, we got Mario, got Ninja Turtles, Donkey Kong. It's a pretty cool touch, yeah. How you doing? Doing good, how about yourself? I'm living the pizza dream. <laughs> All right, so as you guys know, I always talk about having cone-shaped pepperonis. Wow, that is one slice, is mental. This is the thick crust. It literally looks like a chunky brownie. It's hot, so I'm not, I'm drooling from this. But this is gonna be amazing. So once this cools off, we'll show you the first bite. I mean the pepperonis. Oh yeah. 
so freaking good. Slice box, check them out in Magnolia. It's a must try. Okay, I think we're going to start a pizza review place like Dave Portnoy, that Portnoy does with bar stools. So stay tuned for that. We'll show you all the great pizza spots in all of Seattle. I'm gonna be a fun video to make. But thank you so much for tuning in to Seattle Living 101, your ultimate guide to buying, moving, living, anything you wanna do in Seattle. If you are interested about anything that we talk about here, scan the QR code, set up a meeting with us. We'd love to show you more, connect with you, explain to you, or even potentially talk with you what it's like for you to buy here in Seattle. If you have any video ideas for us, DM us. And for the most important part, I'm gonna repeat this again. Wherever it gets is house number three, price point to the dot, we're sending a $100 gift card to Starbucks from Andre's bank account. Thank you all so much, and I'll see you guys next week.